Hong Kong court sentences pro-democracy activists. Hong Kong's High Court has sentenced 45 pro-democracy activists to prison, terms ranging from four to 10 years under. Beijing's national security law, marking a critical moment for the city's eroding freedoms. The activists were convicted of conspiracy to commit subversion for organizing an unofficial 2020 primary election aimed at selecting pro-democracy candidates for legislative seats. Authorities claimed their plan sought to paralyze the government, though critics argue they were simply engaging in peaceful political activity. Benny Tai, a former legal scholar and a key figure in the movement, received the harshest sentence of 10 years. Other prominent activists, including Owen Chow, Gwyneth Ho, and Joshua Wong, received sentences ranging from nearly five to seven years. Judges cited the scheme's intent and level of organization as grounds for the lengthy sentences, despite claims it was unlikely to succeed. The convictions stem from Hong Kong's 2020 national security law imposed by Beijing to quell dissent after the 2019 pro-democracy protests. Chinese officials defend the law as necessary to restore order, while Western governments have sharply criticized the trial. U.S. officials labeled the proceedings politically motivated, urging the release of those convicted. Australia's Foreign Minister Penny Wong condemned the suppression of fundamental freedoms, while Taiwan's presidential office expressed solidarity with Hong Kong. Outside the court, tight security and emotional scenes unfolded. Supporters braved rain to queue for seats, many expressing outrage at the verdict. They need to know they still have public support, said Margaret, a longtime democracy advocate. The ruling has sparked renewed international criticism of Beijing's growing control over Hong Kong, with some viewing it as evidence of the city's diminished autonomy and democratic principles. Despite the heavy sentences, some detainees may be eligible for early release due to time already served. As Hong Kong hosts an international financial summit, the trial's outcome underscores the tension between its global ambitions and internal political realities. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Also, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Your support means the world to me, and it helps this channel grow. Feel free to leave a comment below with any thoughts or questions. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.